Hello and welcome to the Food Line Kitchen. I'm in the kitchen today with Chef Michael Santos from the Chef's Academy and we're making crepes, one of my breakfast favorites. First of all, what is a crepe? I love it, but you know, really, what is it? <laughs> so a crepe is traditionally a French, um, really, really thin pancake. Okay, so we're doing a, okay. a sweet crepe. So we're gonna do a sweet crepe. Um, again, what I've done here is uh, you take your uh, sugar, salt, uh, your flour mixture, um, we like to sift it through a sifter. Okay. Um, keeps the lumps out of the flour. Mm -hmm. Get it really, really nice and smooth. Again, we're going for the thinness on the crepe, so okay. you know, uh, no lumps is the best. Um, we take that and we incorporate our eggs and our milk and a little bit of butter and whisk it all together. Mm -hmm. We take the batter. The biggest uh, thing about the crepe batter is not like a pancake. You can't just whip it up and then add some baking soda and just pop. It just happens. You don't, the biggest trick is that you have to actually take the, the batter after you um, mix it all together really nice and smooth. A little bit thinner, it's a little bit watery, uh -huh. and you actually put it in the uh, refrigerator to actually come together and coagulate and okay. uh, form. Gotcha. Um, so what I'm gonna do uh, is we'll, we'll do the, the crepe shell first. Mm -hmm. So this has come out of the uh, refrigerator now, and right. it's been sitting there, and I'm just gonna pour a little bit of butter in there. You prefer to use butter to yeah. so it doesn't stick yeah. versus some of the other things. Butter, you, use. you could use spray. Um, okay. You know, if we were doing a savory crepe, we might uh, use uh, olive oil instead or mm -hmm. something. Okay. So that's pretty warm there. So what you want to do is pour just a little bit in the center, stop right beforehand, uh, and let it just kind of spread around your pan. Okay. Again, the thinner the better. How do you know when you should? Oh. Yeah, and, and what I do, either you can try to flip it uh, with, with your hand or you can use this rubble high heat spatula here. Mm -hmm. um, basically, just like a pancake in the fact that you can start seeing the, uh, the middle start to get cooked a little bit. Mm -hmm. So what you're looking for in a crepe is you're looking for a nice um, crispiness or color on one side okay. um, and very you know smooth and, and not so done in, in the center there. So it's, it's in, especially if you're going to, uh, you know, cool it down and serve it again and cook it again, it's, it's always good. Gotcha. Um, one thing I really like about making savory crepes and other crepes is that the fact that you can go ahead and pre-make them hmm. and then that way you can just pop them back in, you know, whenever you're ready for them after okay. you, you put your filling in there. So again, we, we got a nice color. Flip it back, and wow. we'll just let those sit. For my filling, we're gonna do a sweet crepe. So what we've done is we took some fresh raspberries, some sugar. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon juice in here. And I got some oranges that I've chopped up. Mm -hmm. Add those together. Okay. Now the sugar and, the, and these, you actually wanna let sit for a little bit. Mm -hmm. in the refrigerator. The sugar starts, you know, melting down um, mm -hmm. and the water from the actual raspberries and oranges start coming out. Mm -hmm. Just gonna give you a nice liqueur nice flavor. You know, and, and flavor. So the longer you let these sit, the better. And again, I'm using the rubber spatula so I don't break up. I still wanna see the nice chunks of you know, raspberries and okay. oranges in there. There we go. This one is ready to go there. If you want to take a little bit of the, each one, put it right in the center there. Okie dokie. What I like to do, I like to put some in the center and then I also like to cover mine on top. So again, we take these and we try to do a little fold here. I'm gonna take one, put it right here. Sometimes I also like to take them and just put a little cut into it on the bias here is what we call it. Okay. That way we can present really nicely. Very nice. Nice here. Beautiful. At the end, what I like to do is a little orange or lemon zest, put it on this uh -huh. nice microplane. And just to finish off a little garnish, we have a little orange here. That's so pretty. And we have a little lemon. <laughs> Rose there for you. Okay, I'm ready to try it. That is absolutely delightful. Awesome. Thank you very much. Well done, thank you. You can make some more. Yep. <laughs> okay, he's gonna make some more. I'm gonna tell you how you can make it. Go to our website. Find the recipe at mycarolinatoday.com.